Hello everybody, it is Jack here. I am so excited. It is time for another monthly grocery call at Woolworths and Aldi and I'm really excited to show you guys some of the exciting items that we got this month. So unfortunately we are located in Melbourne and we are going through our current second isolation. So we got stage four, six weeks isolation because of the coronavirus and unfortunately we're all stuck at home now. I'm working from home, my wife, business is shut because of coronavirus, so we are stuck with the kids for six weeks. Anyway, the shops are still well stocked, so no need to stress out. If you aren't aware, we are a family of four vegans, and this is our monthly grocery haul at Woolworths and Aldi, and we also do a monthly grocery haul at Costco as well, but unfortunately that's out of our five kilometer radius, so we won't be getting to Costco until another six weeks, which is a massive shame. We spend about $230 on this monthly grocery haul at Woolworths and Aldi, and then we spend about $180 at Costco on our monthly haul, and then throughout the month we are spending about $70, $80 just little top up shops, mostly fresh produce like fruit and veg, and then any other items that we may have missed. Anyway, I love showing you guys these bulk monthly hauls, so let's get straight into it right now. Oh my God, guys, a look at this massive grocery haul. It is jam-packed with so many great goodies. Couple new items in there, some of our regular favorites, but I am so excited about this grocery haul to show you guys. Ended up spending about 190, I think it was about maybe 200. So a little bit cheaper than we normally spend, but I am really excited to show you guys these items. We'll start off at Aldi down here. So we just have the pizza bases. So two a twin pack pizza bases here. Love making homemade pizza with the boys. So especially in ISO, we are gonna be doing this as a little cooking activity. Gonna be doing a lot of cooking activities, I reckon over this next six weeks. But making pizzas is always a favorite of theirs. And I made, was made aware of this item recently from one of you guys. The, the Roddy bread, so I am really excited to try this out to see how that tastes, but look down here, it actually does say vegan on it, so I love when companies do that. Make it easy to identify that it's vegan friendly, but you know, I'm gonna whack that with some like, you know, do a curry, so that is gonna go down absolutely a treat. So that is in the fruits section, if you're looking out for it. You know, Urban Eats have a couple vegan friendly items as well, so keep an eye out for some of their range. Over here, just two packets of the salted peanuts, just a nice little snack, simple, nothing too exciting there. Over here as well, so the sausages, the meat-free sausages at Aldi have changed packaging, and it actually does say now, vegan friendly. I'm pretty sure the old package said like vegetarian meat-free sausages, now it actually says vegan, so that is really great to see. Looks exactly the same, so I'm sure not much has changed. I'm pretty sure the price is the same as well. So just two packets of them. Nice little easy snack to kind of put together for the boys or ourselves if we're, you know, just pressed for time a little bit. And over here, this is the granddaddy of them all. If you have not checked out my food review on these plant-based nuggets, please go check it out. I'll chuck a link in the description. But these plant-based nuggets are absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. That batter around the nugget itself is so crispy. Maybe a little bit oily, but they are so delicious and by far the best vegan-friendly nuggets around so definitely recommend go checking them out and really good value as well over here oats rolled oats two packets of the rolled oats will last us probably maybe two months anyway but our boys have some oats in the morning sometimes my wife has some oats in the morning as well so just two packets of them uh, we alternate with the boys you know wheat bix and oats just some bicarb soda i'm um, just going to be doing a lot of baking over this next six weeks so just grabbed some of that and same with the baking powder as well so we're going to be making some cakes going to be making muffins going to be making a lot of stuff three tins of the tomato paste really handy staple to have in your pantry ready to go making sauces making all sorts of different dishes with the tomato paste you can also use the tomato paste to make some like 
pizza inspired pinwheel. So just chuck some tomato paste on the bottom, you know, vegan cheese, whatever else you want, wrap it up into some puff pastry, chuck that in the oven and you have some easy and simple pizza pinwheels. Down the back here, two tins of the pineapple slices. Chuck that onto pizza because pineapple slices go great on pizza. We love pineapple on pizzas, but we're gonna chuck that probably into some burgers as well. Love pineapple and it's really great to have that in the pantry. A couple cans of coconut milk. Coconut milk really gives a bit of creaminess to a lot of sauce bases, so just a couple cans of that. Really good in curries, we use it in a lot of my curries that I make. And then just the boys favorite, the pitted olives. So they love these olives. So just one jar of these olives. There you go, that was Audi. Pretty sure that only really came in and maybe about $40. So Audi was really, really good value actually this time around. Really good cheap items in there and like a great variety of vegan items now as well. Alrighty, here we are on the other side of the table doing the Woolworths shop. So quite a few items in there. Pretty sure Woolworths only came in about $90, $90 or $80, but very good value there. Couple good vegan items in there as well. So let's get straight into it. So down here, a couple of these puff pastries, six puff pastry sheets in there. The, if you weren't aware, the puff pastry from Woolies is vegan friendly. There's another brand, Pampers, which is also vegan friendly. And also Coles puff pastry is vegan friendly as well. But we're gonna make some sausage rolls. Gonna make some pinwheels, as I said earlier. A couple other treats along the way that keep the kids happy. Just got a small packet of the Australian Steakhouse chips. Now a nice little snack to have, one kilo bag there. And we're gonna need a lot of snacks over these next six weeks. So we just got a couple bags of the butter flavored popcorn. So this is vegan friendly, surprisingly. So three packets of them. Probably watch a couple movies over this time. So the boys love the popcorn and they are really cheap and really good value and really tasty as well. Very buttery actually. Over here, this was actually probably just for my sake actually, but the Whiz Fizz, if you weren't aware, um, they are vegan friendly, so just got them, eight packet there. I'm just like, I, I have a sweet tooth, I'll be honest. Back here, the licorice twist from Woolworths are also vegan friendly, and another way to satisfy a sweet tooth. Back on the sweet stuff, two blocks of the Sweet William Dairy Free Original Chocolate Blocks. So they are pretty tasty there, not too bad in terms of a chocolate taste, so that is great value for a chocolate block. And over here, we have, not one, not two, but three of the Ritz crackers. Now you're probably wondering why I got three of these small packets. Why didn't I just get a big box? But these were on special and it worked out cheaper if I got three of these original ones by themselves. So, you know, chuck that with some hummus, chuck that with some of this cream cheese at the back here, whatever. So that'll be really great to have for the kids. Back here, as I said, the Mabry plants, cream cheese, garlic, and chive. This is incredible. If you haven't tried it before, it is really great tasting. Grab some bagels, chuck it on some Ritz crackers, or whatever you want. This is really great tasting. One of the best cream cheeses that I have tasted. They've re-released their range and have come out and produced a phenomenal effort in producing some of the best cream cheese around. Back here, if you haven't tried this before, this Fable plant-based braised beef is absolutely delicious. It is incredible how well it tastes and how similar in texture it is to actual braised beef. So it's actually made from mushrooms, but it tastes absolutely nothing like mushrooms. So just got one of these as a little treat item. Probably do like maybe a stew or something with this. I'm not too sure at the moment, but you know, that is very tasty. Just two loaves of bread. We've got some bread from Costco recently, but we've us all been home now. We'll probably go through a bit more bread now with some toast, sandwiches or whatever for the kids. And as I've said in the past, just be mindful that some bread isn't vegan friendly, but this one is. So look down there, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And then this one, the cooler plant-based yogurt. By far the best yogurt going around. Very tasty, incredibly delicious. They've got a couple of different flavors out there. So this is a blend of coconut, cashew, and almonds. So all the good stuff in there. The kids love this yogurt. So damn, here got pulse pasta from Sam Remo. 
and then also the spaghetti pulse pasta. Unfortunately, Alec used to sell some pulse pasta, but for whatever reason, they've stopped doing it now. So this is actually pretty expensive in comparison to what they used to have at Audi. Also at the top there, it says vegan friendly, so that is great to know. Over here, chickpeas. So you know, if you watch my videos, you know I absolutely love chickpeas, and I generally get them in cans, but after last month's more of a whole food sort of grocery haul, a lot of people were saying you should get dried chickpeas and dried lentils, dry lentils and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna try the dry chickpeas because I know I love chickpeas. So I'm gonna try this out. Just soak them for a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's soaking for about eight hours or whatever, but gonna give this a shot. Really actually works out just as cheap as getting them in these packets as you do in the cans. But really excited to try this dried chickpeas out. Down here, just the iron melts, just to supplement our kids. So got a couple dietary supplements in there. So some iron, vitamin B12, vitamin C. So that is really great. They love these ones. They 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 say they're lollies, but you know, they're great tasting for them, I guess. So that is a great way to try to get them some other little vitamins into them. So we just put one packet of that. So just over here, two cans of the lentils, going through lentils a little bit more, but as I said, if it goes well with the chickpeas, we'll probably switch to dry lentils, and that's the same with the black beans. Over here, just got the block of the kofa. So just gonna be doing a lot of baking over this next six weeks. So pretty much just coconut oil. So that is gonna be handy in a lot of different baking items that I'm gonna be doing over the next six weeks. Same with the icing sugar as well. And then over here, just two liters of the soy milk. Really enjoying the Woolworths soy milk at the moment. Really good value as well. Down here, we go with that cream cheese. That delicious cream cheese is these bagels. Vegan friendly as well, four bagels in there. So I'm really gonna be loving that. Back here, really having a massive run on the, and the love of the shapes at the moment. The barbecue shapes are vegan friendly. So just a little snack to have. And then over here as well, just got the crust, the corn crust kits. So if you weren't aware, these are the only vegan friendly cruskets out on the market, the corn cruskets. So they are a great little snack to have. The boys love them with like, you know, a bit of Vegemite on there. So that is great. Just some olive oil over the back here. And then finally, we have two packets of the oat cappuccino. You know, I, if you've been watching my videos, I'm loving these cappuccinos at Woolies at the moment. But Unfortunately, you guys keeps taking all the soy cappuccinos. I still haven't found the soy cappuccinos. You know, I was having a good run on those, but you know, I can't seem to find any at the moment at any of my local Woolworths, but the oat one's not too bad as well. So if you love your coffee, these little satchels are really convenient and really great tasting as well. And lastly, we just got our fruit and veg. It's about 50, well, probably about $40. So just got some blueberries, some zucchinis, tomatoes, capsicum, cucumber, celery, some spinach. I will love these bags. I would these bags. Some broccoli, some oranges, some apples. And of course, the staple of a vegan diet is avocados. So just a little top up shop there with the fruit and veg. Got a bunch of bananas already in our pantry, in our fruit bowl, so that is ready to go. Some other mandies and all other stuff as well. But we love topping up, like I said earlier, about $50, $60 a week in our fruit and veg. But look at that, that is so much food, and this is gonna go down a treat this month. So I'm really excited to get into some of these items. And I really hope you enjoyed this little insight into what we've purchased this month. Anyway, that was it for our monthly grocery haul at Woolworths and Aldi. Some great little items in this grocery haul that I hope you enjoyed and some new items that you may not have realized was actually vegan friendly. Anyway, as I said, we're all home at the moment. I'm working from home, Mrs. is home as well, and our two young boys who are four and three are also home from childcare, so it is gonna be a madhouse over this next six weeks, so wish us luck. And for everyone else in Melbourne, stay safe and stay strong, and we'll get through this together. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, chuck it a like, share it around, comment below of your amazing vegan-friendly finds at Woolies and Aldi, 
And as always, subscribe to the channel for more grocery hauls like this and much, much more. I do more than just grocery hauls. But anyway, that is it. Got to put it all away now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I'll see you very soon.